This is also from my online course, and it is actually a trademark of mine, making conversations safe. So as I talk about this strategy, I want you to please, if you'll go with me, think how you can use this strategy. It's easy. All it is, as you saying, I don't want to, I do want to. I'm going to give you an example. Don't worry. I don't want to. I do want to. I don't want to create stress between us. I do want to have an important conversation. So there's Alice. Alice is loved by all her colleagues. The thing is, Alice is creating, but she has a lot of stress in her life and she's bringing this stress to work. So all of Alice's colleagues are going up to the HR director and saying, you've got to do something. She's causing so much stress for us. We're behind. So the HR director comes to me. She's one of my clients. And we practice the gap. And this is what we discussed, how she can approach Alice. Think about, folks, please, think about how you can use, I don't want to, I do want to, as I'm explaining what happened. So this is Alice. No, this, this is the HR director. Alice, I don't want to create any more stress with you. I do want to make sure that we support you during this time of stress. I don't want to. I do want to. Now, some of you may say, but Joyce, that's not getting to the heart of the problem. You're right. Here I go with you're right. The thing is, this one conversation relaxed Alice. She absolutely understood that she needed to have this tough conversation. That's when the HR director saw Alice was in the palm of her hands and she and the HR director said, we have to figure out what to do because Alice, this is getting in the way of the team's productivity. The end of the conversation, Alice understood it. Things got better. 